You know what it is. Eric Taylor, Taylor 2 Coaching, continuing my Mars house series. So we're talking about the planet Mars in the fifth house. So what's Mars? Come on, you know what Mars is. We're talking about your energy, your willpower, your drive. For a man, his sex drive. For a woman, the type of man she's attracted to, the soldier, the warrior, the fighter. Right? Mars is that kind of like that passion that we have, the reason why we go for it. It's also surgery, it cuts, it divides, right? You can see uh, fire, people working with metal. So when you're dealing with the fifth house, what's the fifth house? This is our creativity, our heart, our self-expression. High school and college, right? So in high school and college, you learn history. So ancient history, academic history. This is political discussion, debates, right? Um, speculative gains, okay? Starting your own business, being in the entertainment industry, right? Painter, musician, artist, rapper, singer, poet, dancer, sculptor, a painter for the art gallery. Um, it's also your children, right? Because the creativity, the children, that comes from being, you know, having sex, right? So this is the house of uh, dating, romance, and fun sex. You know, the eighth house is that committed marriage sex. <laughs> so, um, you know, so here you can see um, also gambling, sports, um, so many things in the fifth house. I'm going forever, right? So, we have Mars in the fifth house. You're talking about people who have crazy creative energy. Like they've got the play they're doing, a movie, they've recorded an album, they're also painting. You know, they got two kids. Like Mars brings a lot of energy to this house. And you have a lot of passion. Yeah. You, now Mars is at home in Aries and Scorpio and exalted in Capricorn. Sorry, I don't think I mentioned that in the fourth house video, but you should know this. You should be knowing this already. <laughs> so if you have Aries or Scorpio or Capricorn in the fifth house, you can turn, you know, start your own business. You can be good at gambling, fantasy football. You can be, you know, a great uh, politician in terms of speaking, public speaking. Remember, it's opposing the 11th, so for the large crowds, and then it's trying in the ninth house. So you might also want to travel a lot and share your beliefs, right? You learn something in ancient history or you're a painter, you like to share your philosophy on painting and art and poetry and, you know, whatever. Yeah, that can happen a lot. Um, you can also have um, <sighs> arguments with your children or be very, con you know, trolling and bossy, you know, depending if Saturn and Pluto were here. Um, and you can have a miscarriage. But if Jupiter's here or Jupiter's trining it or even opposing it, you're going to... Jupiter's the significator for children, so you'll be fine. Okay. Um, but, you know, really, if it's in Libra or Taurus or Cancer here, it could be a little challenging. Okay. If it's Libra, it could be, you know, very argumentative in relationships and partnerships, right? With the Taurus, you could, you know, you know, kind of have beef with people over money if you're gambling and you know or someone you got a kid with and there's a separation and you don't give money to the kid right and then if it's in cancer you could yell a lot at your kids or argue and fight and be controlling and not so much controlling but just the arguments and stuff so it can play out different ways all right but this can make you very very romantic like very assertive, very aggressive at pursuing your lady or your guy, you know? <laughs> you definitely, you know, you like to 
Now you could get a little freaky and have a ton of sex. Like if it's, you know, debilitated. So, you know, if you're, if you're dealing with cancer here or, or Libra or Taurus, you know, you might have a little too much fun sex. I'm just saying, don't kill the messenger. It's just what it, the planet means there, okay? <laughs> like I always tell you though, this is just one placement. We don't know what's squaring it, sextiling it. It, it flavors the energy. So you email me directly, tailor to you, coach at gmail.com and get a birth chart reading. Um, that's the best way to know. But, uh, you know, and you know, for women, this, you could be attracted to a very aggressive artist guy, you know, someone who is, someone who comes after you, you know, pursues you with flair and style, and, you know, they're very creative and, you know, this is, yeah, this is the guy that the ladies like. <laughs> ladies, do you like this guy? Um, also, you can have gambling addiction here and issues. You also could, you know, kind of be the impetus for, you know, starting a record label, you know, uh, writing an action adventure film, a murder mystery film, um, you know, the screenplay, right? Um, let's see. This is an interesting placement. Definitely an interesting placement. You know, this can have you be sort of a, like a historian for ancient artifacts or a political uh, historian. You know, like you know about, you know, Jimmy Carter and Reagan and Truman and, you know, all of, you know, Jackson and Washington. You know, all, you know, a lot of information about the presidential history of America. Assuming you're American, maybe you know it about it in India, maybe you know about it in Canada or in, in, in Great Britain, you know. Anybody could be watching from anywhere, you know, so I don't want to leave you all out. But um, this is a, for the most part, it's going to be a, a pretty good placement, you know. And they are really nice bad placements in astrology. It's more like, you know, positive or negative, or I say easier or challenging energies. And you just figure it out. You learn about the map of your life. That's why you get a birth chart done. Whether it's with me or another astrologer, I prefer you do it with me. TaylorTwoCoaching.gmail.com. Check out my website and prices down below in the description. Or if you want to go to my website, TaylorTwoCoaching.com, where you can watch videos and read testimonials, you know, and, um, you know, hear what other people think about my work, okay? And sign up for Sunday, March 13th, 1 p.m. Eastern, Astrological Coffee Talk with Eric. I'm going to teach a cool astrology lesson. We'll exchange astrological placements, insights. I have a nice group of people. Um, and, um, you know, I'll answer your questions. And it's really about building community, like-minded people, you know, high vibration, positivity, and people that want to, that really want to elevate, ele elevate, elevate, ele elevate, you know, they just want to, you know, soar, all right, so, um, that's you, email your boy, and then, you know, it's only $12 for 90 minutes, it's, it's worth it, and um, then you could send payment, right, through uh, Cash App, Zelle, PayPal, whatever, all right, so Mars in the fifth house, you're definitely not quiet like a mouse. Oh my God, and these are the guys at the fancy football draft that are yelling and arguing and are guys that always want to make a, a trade and, you know, hound you and be like, come on, come on, come on, what's up, you know? <laughs> Mars, <laughs> Mars in the fifth house is, uh, but watch out for the gambling. You can go to Vegas and blow a lot of dough, okay? So chill out, I know. Um, and you might be inspired to start your own business with this placement. You do well, especially in the entertainment field, you know. So uh, go get it, Mark. Go get it. And make sure all that sex you're having is safe. <laughs> all right. I know about y'all. All right. <laughs> Eric Taylor, Taylor to you coaching.
Mars in the fifth house, you are dizzy, 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 done. Peace. Cinco. Mars. Bye.